threads, and spin-ons light theory. Why do distant objects cease to be visible based on the threads and spin-ons theory? Explanation of light propagation in the threads and spin-ons theory. Definition of light in the threads and spin-ons theory. In the threads and spin-ons theory, light is described as the physical propagation of a thread energized by spin-ons. Spin-ons are discrete rotational energy units that travel along the thread, and the observable light results from the thread's tension and the energy contained in the spin-ons. The thread extends from the emission source and propagates through space as long as the spin-ons supply energy. Thread length, spin-on energy, SEU, and tension relationship. The length of a light thread is directly related to the energy of the spin-ons energizing it. This relationship can be described using spin-on energy units, SEU, to quantify energy output. The more spin-ons present in a light emission event, the higher the SEU and the greater the tension, allowing the thread to extend across vast cosmic distances. If the spin-ons deplete or stop being generated, the thread collapses and light ceases to propagate. 3. Why distant objects become invisible? energy depletion. Unlike the traditional view where light visibility fades due to redshift or space-time expansion, the threads and spin-ons theory proposes that light from extremely distant objects becomes invisible because the spin-ons energizing the thread lose energy over cosmic timescales. When the SEO diminishes below the required threshold for tension maintenance, the thread collapses and light emission ceases to be observable. This model implies that an object can disappear from view not because it crosses a cosmological horizon, but because its emitted light thread can no longer sustain its propagation due to energy exhaustion. The thread tension is insufficient to maintain light transmission without spin-on energy. Comparison with conventional cosmology, redshift, and event horizons. Conventional cosmological models explain why distant objects become unobservable using redshift. As the universe expands, light wavelengths stretch, eventually shifting beyond the visible spectrum. Cosmic event horizon. Expansion rates exceeding the speed of light create a boundary where photons can never reach us. The threads and spin-ons theory differs by replacing redshift with energy depletion through SEU exhaustion, rejecting cosmic expansion as the reason for visibility limits, focusing instead on thread tension and spin-on capacity. 5. Mathematical representation. Using SEU, the length of light propagation can be modeled using the energy stored in spin-ons as follows. The energy decay over distance can be described by the decay constant determines how rapidly spin-on energy depletes over cosmic distances. Higher values indicate faster depletion, while lower values allow light to propagate further. The decay formula is derived from the differential relation, which solves the exponential decay equation shown above. 6. Experimental predictions and implications the threads and spin-ons theory makes several testable predictions. Distant, faint galaxies. If the light fades due to spin-on depletion, galaxies at extreme distances should appear dimmer in a nonlinear fashion, unrelated to redshift. Light decay. Without wavelength. Stretching. Observations of light intensity decay should reveal a drop-off without the expected wavelength elongation of standard redshift models. Energy depletion. Threshold. A measurable energy threshold, SEU limit, could be defined when light becomes unobservable. Thread collapse observation. Telescopic observations could test for abrupt light extinction patterns indicating spin-on exhaustion rather than gradual redshift fading. Laboratory simulations, controlled experiments with artificial light sources, and measured SEU depletion could help validate the decay constant.